the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpasses the merits and the desires of those who entreat you. For for out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience breeds and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God said, It is not good that a man should be alone. I will make him a helpmate. So from soil, the Lord God fashioned all wild beasts and all the birds of heaven. This he brought to the man to see what he would call them. Each one was to bear the name the man would give it. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of heaven, and all the wild beasts. But no helpmate suitable for man was found for him. So the Lord God made the man fall into a deep sleep, and while he slept, he took one of his ribs and enclosed it in flesh. The Lord God built the rib he had taken from the man into a woman and brought her to the man. The man exclaimed, This at last is bone from my bones, and flesh from my flesh. This to be called woman, for this was taken from man. This is why a man leaves his father and mother and join himself to his wife, and they become one body. The word of the Lord. May the Lord bless us all the days of our life. Oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. By the labor of your hands you shall eat. You will be happy and prosper. May the Lord bless us all the days of our life. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine in the heart of your house. Your children like shoots of the olive around your table. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion in happy Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see your children's children, O Israel, peace. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. We see in Jesus, who was for a short while made lower than the angels and is now crowned with glory and splendor because he submitted to death. By God's grace, he had to experience death for all mankind. 
and it was his purpose to bring a great great many of his sons into glory it was appropriate that god for whom everything exists and through whom everything exists should make perfect through the suffering the leader who would take them to their salvation for the one who sanctifies and the one who are sanctified are the same stock that is why he openly calls them brothers the word of the lord is truth o lord consecrate us in the truth The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Some Pharisees approached Jesus and asked, "Is it against the law for a man to divorce his wife?" They were testing him. He answered them, "What did Moses command you?" Moses allowed us they said to draw up a right of dismissal and so to divorce then Jesus said to them it was because of you were so untouchable that he wrote this commandment for you but from the beginning of the creation god made them male and female this is why a man must leave the father and mother and the two become one body they are no longer two therefore but one body so then what has what god has united man must not divide back in the house of the disciples questioned him again about this and he said to them the man who divorce his wife and marries another is guilty of adultery against her and if a woman divorces her husband and marries another she is guilty of adultery too people were bringing little children to him for him to touch them the disciples turned them away but when jesus saw this he he was indignant answered to them let the little children come to me do not stop them for it is to such as these that the kingdom of god belongs i tell you solemnly anyone who does not welcome the kingdom of god like a little child will never enter it then he put his arms round them laid his hands on them and gave them his blessing This is the gospel of our Lord. Let us stand up and proclaim our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen.
let us pray god has made an eternal covenant with us in jesus christ let us bring our petitions before him with sincere hearts together we pray saying lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer that all members of the church especially all families may be sign of god's covenantal love let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that laws and policies in our societies may help families to flourish and enable those supporting their families to find suitable employment let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that married couples may find joy in each other as gift from the lord and deepen their commitment love and relationship with christ each day let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that those facing anxiety tension or conflict especially within the family may find healing reconciliation and peace let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that the faithful departed may rejoice to be re- reunited in the one family of the church in heaven let us pray to the lord lord let us pray Lord God answer our prayers and give us your grace so that we may grow in love of all your name and faithfulness to your covenant through Christ our Lord Our brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church accept o lord we pray the sacrifice instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our lord Amen. the lord be with you and with lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord holy father almighty and eternal god through Christ our lord for by his birth he brought the renewal to humanity's fallen state and by his sufferings canceled out our sins by his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life and by ascending to you o father He has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise 
as without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith Therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis or pope paul our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face half mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god saint joseph her spouse the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be cohaes to eternal life and may praise and glory for you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father the unity of the holy spirit All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. 
I will be done. He was to stay our daily bread. And forgive our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. And I say the word, and my soul shall be. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of our Lord.